Chastity bought a car for $25,510. The value of the car is predicted to depreciate to $12,380 after five years. If Chastity keeps the car for an additional five years, meaning a total of eight years, predict the value of the car at the end of those three additional years, assuming the value continues decreasing exponentially at the same rate. We will solve this problem using the exponential equation y equals a times b to the power of t, where a equals the initial amount, or starting value, b is the base, t is the time, and y is the amount after time t. Let's actually change the variables and use the equation v equals a times b raised to the power of t. From here we know a, the initial or starting amount, is $25,510. We also know the value is predicted to depreciate to 12,380 after five years, which means when t is equal to five, or five years, the value v is $12,380. From here we'll sub these values into the equation and then find the base b. Once we find the base b, we can determine the value after eight years. So subbing in the values for a, t, and v, we have the equation 12,380 equals 25,510 times the unknown base b raised to the power of five. And now we need to solve for b. The first step is to divide both sides by 25,510. Simplifying, we have b to the fifth is equal to 12,380 divided by 25,510. Now we could simplify this fraction, or we could also get a decimal approximation, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in this form. And now to solve for b, we need to undo the fifth power by taking the fifth root of both sides of the equation, or raising both sides of the equation to the reciprocal power of five, which would be one-fifth. Let's raise both sides of the equation to the one-fifth power. On the right side of the equation, because we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. Five times one-fifth is equal to five-fifths or one, and b to the first power is just b. So now we know b is equal to 12,380 divided by 25,510 raised to the one-fifth power. Which means now we know the value v is equal to a, which is 25,510 times b, which we now know is 12,380 divided by 25,510 raised to the power of one-fifth. And all this is raised to the power of t. The reason I wrote it in this form here is because now we have powers raised to powers again and if we multiply the exponents, one-fifth times t is equal to one-fifth t, or t divided by five. So now we have the equation v is equal to 25,510 times the base of 12,380 divided by 25,510, now raised to the power of t divided by five. And now we can find the value after eight years by substituting eight for t. So the value after eight years is equal to 25,510 times 12,380 divided by 25,510 raised to the power of eight fifths. And again, we're substituting eight for t. And now we go to the calculator. It doesn't say where to round, and therefore I'll round to the nearest cent. And we can see the value to the nearest cent is $8,022 and 81 cents. The predicted car value after eight years is $8,022 and 81 cents. I hope you found this helpful.